Hi, I'm Tom. How are you? Yeah, me too. I'm ready to go back out into the world, kind of tired of spending so much time at home. I wanted to show you something that might, uh, might help us when we get back out there. It's really cool. So, uh, have a look at this. What do you suppose that is? What do you suppose that is? Well, it's kind of a clue. It's a prototype. For sure, it's a prototype. It's called a laser social distance marker. It actually looks cool when it's, when it's running. See, that's what it looks like when it's running. You're going you're gonna to see more in a minute. But I want to tell you more about it. I, uh, I gave it the nickname. Since I invented it, I get to give it any name I want. Um, I call it a no-yo for know your space. A no-yo. So, uh, yeah, talk it up. Now, as I said, it's just a prototype. These are some of the, the pieces I kludged it together with. It's a, a laser that I candlelized out of a laser pointer. It's a, a little motor that came out of a, a, a automatic soap dispenser, dispenser and, uh, and a mirror, a little tiny mirror uh, right here. It's actually a broken chip from a mirror. This is a, a, a ball clasp. It helps me uh, adjust the mirror. So this thing, um, it could easily go from a prototype stage to, uh, to something much smaller, say about the size of, uh, of a marker pen like this, you know. Use a smaller, smaller motor, uh, could easily, easily be done. A couple other things need to be done to commercialize it. It needs a more powerful laser because it washes out a little bit in, in uh, bright light. But, um, so what's, what's the principle here? Uh, let's just go through that real quick. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's not rocket science. It's a motor, DC motor, five volts, five volt laser, and a spinning mirror. The uh, laser is vertical, it reflects off the mirror, hits the pavement, as the mirror rotates, it draws an arc. That's all there is to it. Maybe a little bit more. You might remember from your, uh, your high school science class, right? The, uh, the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. You can do some math there with trigonometry once you know the angle of incidence. And you could literally point where you want the beam to go using just a little bit of trigonometry. So um, this is you know, an example of a or schematic of what it looks like mounted on someone's chest. But there's the triangle right there, right? So that's the idea behind the device. Now you can adjust the mirror, and I, I designed it so it could be adjusted. As you might imagine, the adjusting the mirror changes the social distance. So Here's a, here's a little schematic of a, a shallow mirror angle and a, a little schematic of a more steep mirror angle. And you can see the social distance that's traced out. As you get the mirror angle steeper, you get a greater social distance. So that's the idea behind the device. There's a, there's a write-up on the whole thing that um, you can get to. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But you probably want to know, does it really work? Yeah, yeah the answer is it really works. So um, I want to show it to you. I put the camera down and I'll, I'll put, it, put the lanyard around my neck here. Let me give you a little, uh, little bit of a demo. A couple things that uh, need to happen if we were going to turn this into a, a, a commercial device, is it, as I said, it needs to be made uh, smaller. But um, in addition to that, the, uh, it'd be good to, to use a much more powerful laser and maybe even experiment with um, a couple of different color lasers, see which ones, which ones reflect off the ground the best. And uh, so here we go. It's on. Mirror's rotating. Now let's have a look here. So, can you see the arch? There it is. And the arch moves with me, marking off my social distance. I can, right now it's, I don't know, what, three or four feet. I can set this thing so that uh, it's six feet, 
or even more if you want. Now you can see it's getting brighter as we go into a darker room. And uh, really it's not, it's not getting any brighter. It's just that the light's not washing it out as much if you go into a little darker room and it gets washed out a little bit as we go into, into a brighter area, but you can still see it, you know. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see this in bright daylight. So this is gonna be an indoor, an indoor uh, device. So, so that's it, it works. Why am I showing you this? No, I don't want to sell you anything. I actually want to give away the design. Um, I'm not looking to make anything off of this. The, um, the idea is to try and, try and uh, get the, the idea published or uh, out there, and hopefully a company will, will grab, grab it and try to commercialize the device. Uh, I think it's a useful device. I hope you think it's a useful device, too. Uh, once it's been commercialized, shrunk a little bit and so forth. So if you like this, by all means, um, uh, like the video and pass the video around. Uh, share it with as many people as you can. Tell people it's out there. Um, if they want to see or you want to see a write-up on it, I have a PDF file that, uh, that you can download really easily. Just go to my website. So here is the website name. Now don't worry. I'm not going to sell you anything. There's nothing for sale on that website. You just go there. There's, there's a few cool things you might. There's some interesting philosophy articles. Uh, just, but click on the, the, the COVID um, menu item, and that's where the PDF is for, for this, uh, the write-up on this device. Okay? So, uh, again, if you like it, please give me a hand. Uh, uh, send it around to your friends. Uh, send it around to any business associates you know. Uh, if they want to download it, download it. Um, it's, it's for free. And uh, hopefully I'll see you out there once we all get back out there. Thanks for watching this short video.